are going to talk to somebody from the West Midlands who's got something very interesting to say, something that's happened to them uh, that has really changed their life or something that they can add to because it's just fascinating to hear what people go through and how they then learn from it and contribute. Every day between half 11 and 12, we have an incredible real life story for you. And today it's the turn of Rachel Benson. So she is a Staffordshire teacher. She decided to leave the classroom during the pandemic to homeschool her own child. Well, that kicked off a bit of a career, a bit of a YouTube sensational career. Rachel from Canic joins me now. Hi, Rachel, how are you? Morning, Kath. I'm really good, thanks for you. I'm very, very well, thank you. Busy, busy show, but lots going on as ever, which we enjoy. So um, let's talk a little bit about you first of all. Where did you grow up and how did you become a teacher? Um, so I, um, I, was, I was born in Warsaw brought up in Hensford from, from a very young age and um, went to school in Hensford, high school, primary school, um, and just always wanted to teach. Had some really inspirational and fabulous teachers myself at school and, and I say now, going back even then, um, those teachers made me want to teach. Um, and I never gave up on that journey. There was a time where I'd failed A-levels and I didn't quite think I was going to get there and looked at a couple of other paths, but came back to it and worked with another, well, actually worked with an inspirational teacher um, who just uh, pretty much told me never to give up and that I should do it. I, 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 was, I could manage to do it. I was a nursery nurse at the time. So I'd got some education experience. Um, so in my sort of mid twenties, I um, decided to reset A levels and went to university, um, and then qualified as a teacher. So achieved that dream of my life, really. I mean, there's um, nothing like uh, a really good teacher, an inspirational teacher. It, it is absolutely. They can change so many lives, can't they? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, and I, you know, as most of us, probably all of us, had some teachers that you know didn't really get on with or wasn't so keen on, but those specifics still even now there are memories for me that you know would stick out in my mind things that we did in class and, and sort of um, exhibitions we did as a school I remember taking a car battery into school for some working traffic lights that we made for this teacher and and it just stuff like that it just sticks with you doesn't it it really does it really really does so you were there happily teaching uh, getting on mm -hmm. with your career and then something mm -hmm. happened a little thing called the pandemic two years ago <laughs> Yes, just just slight, hey? Um, so at that point, I'd had a slight change in career as well. I was still teaching effectively, but I was teaching adults who were apprentices um, for a training company. That was when I'd stepped out of the classroom, um, which is almost four years ago now. Um, I'd got a young family and, and it was getting a little bit too much at that time. Um, but during the pandemic, as you say, uh, the, the, the teacher in me that loves children and helping parents as much as I love teaching children I love to help and support parents I was working full-time zoom lessons all day every day and I just desperately wanted to help parents that I could see you know on Facebook especially crying out for help couldn't get things to load on computers didn't know how to work these different methods and how to deliver oh, yeah. phonics etc we all remember That's that been there yes um so yeah it was it was it was just eating away inside me um, and I needed to help, um, but couldn't because I was working full time. Um, and then, obviously, the YouTube channel was born. Um, we'd it was October half term, and I, I think I'd got some time off. And even that time off I'd got with my girls, obviously at home, I thought I, I need to help the, the friends that I've got at my daughter's school. I want to do something so. We decided, my, my youngest daughter and I, Emma, decided to put on a, a Halloween quiz for anybody at our school to sort of watch and take part in. We did a, a little Zoom video and a PowerPoint. And um, Emma said to me, why don't you put it on YouTube, Mummy? And then other people can do it and watch it if they want to. Because we were all stuck at home. And uh, then, yeah, then, then the YouTube channel was born, as you like. So what, so, I mean, you say that as though it's like that simple, but you just, I suppose you do just start one up, you start one up, yeah. you give it a name and you start uploading content on it. But what, how did you start noticing that people were responding to it? Um, so obviously when you've got videos on YouTube for anybody that knows, you you can 
you can see how many views and stuff. And there's there's not just the YouTube channel and the, and the app to kind of watch. There's an, a, another app that goes and you can watch the analytics. So you can really look at, you know, what videos are popular, how many people are watching, what time are they watching, even what countries, what gender, etc. And we kind of were like, this is a really good thing now. Let, let's get some more content on it. And it, yes, like I say, it's, it's easy. It takes a lot of time, obviously, to put these videos together and and not just when I look back at some of the videos from the early days um they weren't as slick you know we, we do some bits of editing there and I had a friend Ash on board who helped me at one point with that and so we'd like to add the graphics and little music effects and things like that now but back in the early days it was literally just right let's get some activities on let's share these ideas with parents you know get the sticky notes out get your flashcards out make it with all these you know things that you've got to have that's it effectively Kathy's that it was right, right. And that's that's always been what I've been about as a teacher is how can parents help at home with things you've got? You know, it's not about going out and spending loads of money on resources and things. It's we've got toilet tubes, we've got scrap paper, you know, all those bits and bobs. And just I guess the, the, the hard thing sometimes is right to keep coming up with fresh ideas, but knowing that people were interested keeps you going you know it's, it's... Mm. and, and the, the performance element there is in the classroom obviously isn't there you know you've, yeah. got, you've got to be able to engage a, a load yeah. of children but this is different because you're not doing it to a live audience but you you are doing it in a in a slightly different way you're like broadcasting was that quite a, a bit of a, a a sort of different feel for you yeah yeah definitely and, and yeah that's it towards Towards the start, obviously, when we sort of first launched it, um, and I was dipping in and doing a few lives as well, just kind of checking in on people, really, just to sort of be there as a, a link, as a, a communication when we were all literally stuck in, in the house. Um, but the more I did, the more comfortable it became, the more confident I became. And I am generally, like you say, because I think of the teacher thing, you are a performer. You got, I always used to say when I was in the classroom, you walk in that classroom in the morning, you, you become an actor, you know, you're on the stage and you're performing to those children. Um, not false, not falsely. I'm not a, a false teacher, you know, but it is very much that, as you, you know, yourself as a broadcaster, it's you have to become almost someone else. Um, and, yeah, definitely the, the confidence has grown and grown. Um, and I just, I get a real buzz. I've done some live kind of links as well in lessons, sort of teaching live to home med students and... I get a real, I get a, I guess it's an adrenaline kick when I know that they're watching and I'm helping them and it's that, that, that I just love to be able to help and support. Yeah, and, and you have been very successful, you know, tell us how many people are sort of across to this stuff yeah. now. So we've got on the YouTube channel now, we're up to almost 850 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, I mean, that really grew at the start, obviously, because of lockdown, but we still get very steady number of subscribers, perhaps a couple of weeks, but just lately I've been putting a bit more content on again. So we've got a few more over the last few weeks. Um, we've got over a thousand followers on the Facebook page and it's all that it's just there for free Kath you know this is yeah. me just helping people yeah and, um, and loving what you're doing as well and of course we're coming out yeah. of it now and I know you don't homeschool all your, your children and mm -hmm. I think a lot of people are going feeling like they're back to normal in the education system but actually we're in this world where there's going to be a bit of a hybrid isn't there between the two absolutely yeah definitely and I think that was another thing that we realized as a family as well was um I was sharing the links to my video channel in lots of home ed groups that I've discovered on Facebook and then soon discovered even as a teacher I didn't know at the time the home education community is massive and I mean like tens of thousands um and we our eldest daughter Molly was struggling a bit at high school at the time and the lockdown obviously was was on top of all that for both the girls but Molly had had some trouble at school and, and we felt that, that this was something we could try so we then became home educated parents as well um but it's and again it's there it's even for a you know as a support for homework i always say that use this video to help with homework with your children um for younger children to get them engaged in yeah. games you know yeah. preschool and stuff like that it's, it's it's just great to turn your hand to get used to it yourself and then and then use it to help others where do people find you if they want to have a look so if you search on youtube for shine and learn with mrs b then you should find me at the top of the list there shine um, and, and also learn with mrs b. yeah and on yeah. facebook shine and learn with mrs b rachel it's been a pleasure to talk to you
Thanks so much. Thanks so much for coming on. Love you. Take care. Rachel Rachel Benton from Canic. Uh, She started homeschooling uh, during the pandemic. She is now helping other people to do that as well. Uh, We love it. Hearing people in the West Midlands. Interesting. This brother's a marshmallow for you. Leave before you love me. I forgot to tell you that Rachel Benton, our homeschooler, was in character for the whole of that. She had a mortarboard on. I can't believe I didn't tell you. She's on Zoom, mortarboard, fully being a teacher. Uh, Loved that. Coming up, 